Hi students, this is Suchya Datta teaching economics to class 11 and here I am with the fourth chapter and the name of the chapter is poverty. If the people around you are poor, undernourished, uneducated, illiterate and unaware, can you think of development as such, economic development or any other kind of development? The simple answer from you all will be no, not at all. Because first of all, we have to fight against poverty to reach to any kind of development. In the world today, all the welfare government, they have to first of all think about eradicating poverty in their countries. Because eradication of poverty is the first step towards human, economic, social or any kind of development. Now, you are going to ask me what is poverty and who are the people who are poor? Children, when a person is unable or unable to actually meet the basic or the minimum, minimum requirements like food, clothing and shelter, it is said that he lives in poverty. He is poor. So a poor person is a person who is living in such extreme conditions that he does not have proper food, clothing or shelter. That's being in poverty. Now, if there is poverty at all, then how many kinds of poverty are there? When we have to measure poverty in this sense, there are two kinds of poverty that we talk of. And they are relative poverty and the absolute poverty. Relative poverty. This poverty in fact means comparison of people living in the country or between the countries, in the state itself, between the caste and so on. That is when we are relatively comparing sections of people that in terms of poverty that's called as relative poverty. There will be countries which are in the poverty zone and countries which are not. There will be sections of people who fall in the poverty category and those who do not fall in this. So that's making comparison between sections and countries. The other kind of poverty is the absolute poverty. Absolute poverty is that poverty when a man lives under poverty line. When an economic survey was done, in 1999 and 2000, it was said that all those people who live in the rural areas and they earned less than 328 rupees a month and those living in the urban areas earned less than 429 rupees a month fell in the zone of poverty. When we talk of poverty, the next thing would be evaluating the poverty in the rural and the urban areas. The trend has shown that the rural poverty has an edge over the urban poverty. In the rural areas, the people are still fighting to eradicate poverty, whereas in the urban areas, the fight is going on little successfully. So we have to remember that poverty is a very big question in front of the developing and the underdeveloped countries wherein the government have to take measures to eradicate poverty and the concept or the trend has clearly shown that the rural area is significantly playing a vital role, a major role in eradicating poverty in their own domain.